Okay, if you remember World Cup from last year in one of my videos, I had to reduce some repair of the GI in the back, do the repair up on the board. After MGC or during MGC, <laughs> the goalie lost his head or the back of his head there. So we've got to do some repairs there, replace that. Uh, the funny thing is this was... Oh, I don't know when it was. I'll have to look it up here. Uh, on my website, pinballadventure.com, I've got pictures of refurbing this machine, taking it clear and off the whole top part and cleaning it and replacing plastics and all that kind of stuff. And we put a new thing on there back then and a new soccer ball and some other stuff. So I'm um, going to have to put a new guy on there now. I think I have a new one of one of these. I think I have an, even a new sticker, though I could probably get some adhes spray adhesive. I actually have some spray adhesive. I could probably glue him back on there. Um, but I think I've got an extra sticker, and I think i got an extra backing, I think. We'll see here. I got a bunch of things years ago from Illinois Pinball when uh, they sold off their assets because of poor management um, to those guys in Australia, some guys in Australia. I went to the sale and they were kind of, you could go into the warehouse and uh, pick up stuff and everything and buy stuff the very first day I went and I got a bunch of parts so I'm gonna, I am got to go through a bunch of stuff and see if I've got that part. So uh, well, here we go, we'll go through the parts and see if we can find it. First up the coin box is where I stored some stuff in. Aha, oh hey, first, first try, yay, boy that looks a little, you know what, I bet this is actually the original one may not be a replacement the way looking at the discolorization discolorization in it this might be the original one we took off the machine I don't know I'm not seeing I'm not seeing like screw because those use like lock washers on it I'm not feeling or seeing any dimples in it from from that let's see well it's tough to say it's still very pliable um, and I don't, like I said, I don't see any marks. No, but it looks like something was stuck to it, maybe. But maybe that's just from casting. Let me just be air bubbles from casting. So I think we'll try and use that one. It's still very pliable. Must be more pliable than the other one. Um, I'm not sure which side is going to be the best to use because of the slight bit of curve to that. But uh, yeah, we got that. Now we need to see if we got the sticker. Uh, I didn't know it was going to be in this very first thing. I thought it might be in here. Um, but you can see it's only Pimbo, so we got a whole new soccer goal assembly. This is uh, the TV mode assembly, which is interesting. It says, it blah, 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 two samples. I can't remember when I grabbed this out of the bin with the Illinois Pinball sale if there was another one or not. Um, my Star Trek, I got a ramp from Star Trek, and it was saran wrapped and everything and on a piece of cardboard and uh it didn't fit real well actually on the machine i had to grind down some of the entryways of the ramp because it was not a good fit on on my star trek so um the ones i also got from james laughlin that were reproduction ones those fit much better than the original one that i got out of the williams stuff and everything it had a piece of cardboard i think they even had williams on it and everything it said williams but yeah so that's one of those, so maybe someday I'll put on mine. I don't think I need it right now. Some of the targets at the ramp entryway. Those are, they're straight out of the parts bin. I don't think this cord is, but yeah. So at least I got one part. Now we got to see if we can find the stickers. They might be in here. I think the plastics are in here, and I think that might be in there. All right, this bin. Let's see what's out here. Well, there's that common piece of brakes that came out of the Illinois pinball sale. Mine's even cracked already. Mine was a classic payful reproductions one and it's already got cracks and chips and stuff because they made it out of acrylic the first time they ever ran it. I think they've run them since then and done them out of pet G like this. But the first time they did it, they did acrylic and it was terrible, fragile. They tried to deny it for a long time that they were bad, but they, they were really bad. Alright, so let's set that aside. Oh, Apple posters. That doesn't that, I don't need that in here. Let's see. Oh, yeah. See, this is Decal's World Cup. This is out of the Williams Illinois Pinball Sale. Some stickers, ramp stickers, and goal stickers, and I think that's about all. Yeah, ramp coin toss looks like in there, too. Do, 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 do. What is this? That looks like whirlwind stuff. 
whirlwind stuff there. Because I have, this is classic Playful Reproductions. I have <clears throat> this whirlwind set, I think is the one that came with the Playfield I got when they first did the Playfields. Let's see here. Trigger for Demolition Man. Is this another World Cup thing? No, that's not. No, it doesn't have that bend in the side up there at the top. It's very similar, though. It's very similar. Where did I put that other one at? Oh, it was in the other bin. Eh, forget it. Oh, I think it might be in here. Aha. World Cup stickers. Yes. Yeah, the rest of the stuff, a lot of this is Demolition Man and more Whirlwind stuff. I don't have a Demolition Man. I wanted Demolition Man for years. But I haven't really been paying much attention to the it. So let's see here. Aha! Yay! There we go. A new goalie sticker. We are set to go. Is there anything more in here? Nope, that's it. So, alright. Awesome. We got that. We're like about good to go. Is there anything else I need in here? More whirlwind stickers. Demolition Man eyeball. I think there's yeah more demolition man parts. I think there's actually another set of whirlwind plastics in here as well. <clears throat> Back from a really old set that's probably made out of acrylic. The bad acrylic. I, I, if Classic Playfields did it, I'm not sure who did that. Uh, the other set. This set for here for sure is Classic Playfield, Playfield Productions, but done when they did re redid the playfield. So I bought it set at the same time. So let's see that there. I think there's more World Cup plastics in there too. Maybe not though. I don't, I don't remember. So, oh, I guess we'll put the Apple posters back in for some reason. There we go. Let's get on it then. Okay, so we're going to need Phillips there. And you can see what I was talking about. The locking washers there. Little teeth on there to hold that in place. Oh, yeah, that's that's gotten pretty brittle. Probably um, same thing as the other one, but it's been exposed to heat and dried out so much from the heat built up inside the pinball machine for being played um, so much that it got old and brittle and cracked. So I'm not too shocked. But one thing uh, that took, I'd have to go look at my video. I wonder how many years it has been. It might be one of those cases where I need to order up some more of these if they're available still uh, to have the next time to <laughs> it happens. New sticker and a new backer for the sticker. Oh man, those are in there good. And this is just basically a um, a stand-up target turned upside down is all this on an arm you'll see here. It's a uh, very interesting design, very simple design. Well, probably pretty reliable design without having to make a bunch of custom parts. You know, they didn't have to reinvent the wheel to make this. These off the shelf parts. Because that's one of the biggest things when you're producing stuff if you gotta make a custom part for a machine and uh it's only for that machine that increases your cost quite a bit if you can take something else that a design you've already you know already developed looks like we got a backer plate back there we got to watch out for it's going to fall off here so i'm going to turn you off for a moment okay so we got them off there and it has a little plate in the back that the screws go into. That's really acting as a nut. So I didn't want that to drop down in there and be really hard to get at. And with my luck, though, putting it back on, I'll probably will drop it down in there. And just set it up here for now. Um, but looking at them, you know, the sticker doesn't look too bad. Uh, it's a little dirty. Needs some cleaning. You could probably reuse this if you were desperate. But the backing piece, this is kind of interesting. Look at that. The bottom part probably was not much longer for this world. And look how it's discolored. That's very interesting. I don't know if that's because it's dried out or what, but uh, that's definitely kind of changed compared to that other one we looked at earlier. So that's uh, interesting how that changed over time. And then you can see here, 
There you go. There it is. It's just a drop target upside down. The same as one over here, except this has got a round one riveted to it. This one's got a square one. And the rubber pad hits that when the ball hits this and impacts it and pushes that thing back, pushes this part back. Of course, it's not fixed and secure right now, but it would push back and close those switches right in there, those little pads come together, and that's how that works. And uh, it's all mounted to this little arm here that's on a um, motor to go back and forth. So, yeah, they could, all I had to do is, I don't know if they, uh, I have to look at the motor again, I don't remember how, if that's an off, fairly off the shelf part for Williams or Bally. Um, but the switch is definitely just a standard one. They just mounted up to it. Nothing too fancy. Didn't have to create a custom switch enclosure or mounting bracket. You know, well, like I guess I had to have the mounting arm, but they didn't have to, you know, do anything too crazy. And they had a, a target for their goalie and for playing World Cup. Um, whereas we were looking at earlier, I don't know, that was probably for Demolition Man. There was a scoop thing like very similar to the World Cup one. And the difference was the, the Demolition Man one had a straight wall coming out here. And this one has this little bend to kind of encourage the ball to give you a bigger target, encourage the ball to go down in there. Because this can be a little bit hard of a target to hit. So, you know, a lot of the parts of that assembly are fairly the same as some other model. But obviously, this makes it slightly different. And now you got added cost that in development and design that you didn't have before. And it makes for a more expensive part when you're trying to make a something this complicated drives up your cost of your machine so yeah it's just thing if you're if you're ever getting into designing stuff or you are designing stuff if you can take something else that someone else has either made or you've already made with your business or whatever and use that and not have to invent a new part to be manufactured or um, designed it's a whole lot cheaper less time consuming okay what we've decided to do in mounting this is since this has these imperfections in it it actually is molded in there they're like bubbles when they cast this so it means this surface is not real smooth there's dips in it sticker won't probably stick as well to that side so we're going to use this side that has got a more consistent surface on it and before we do that we're gonna um, get some crud cutter degreaser stuff and we're gonna clean this up make sure it's good before we apply the sticker on there to make sure we have the best adhesion possible. All right, we got her on there. Of course, we, we started on this side. It's not perfectly center. Got a little bit of overhang right there on the corner. But I was having a difficulty getting it to not oh, then overhang on this corner down here. It's not perfectly sized for this thing. They're not exactly equal sized. The bottom of this is bigger than the the backing so of course you did it and then started and squeeze it you know try and work any air bubbles out of it which I don't don't think we got anything at least big that we can tell you know it's not a clear sticker so you can't really tell for sure so we'll, and we got the holes fairly matched up there so we'll get that mounted up then I think we're ready to go okay we got them on there now because he's kind of cupped a little bit um, I think it'll make the, the, the goalie hits probably a little less responsive at first because it has a lot more to go back before it hits that, but I don't think that'll be a big deal. Um, I'm not going to sweat that too much. If anything, maybe I could take it off and maybe warm that thing up a little bit with the heat gun and try and take that bend out of it, but I don't, I don't think it's really worth it. I mean, the goalie thing is something you don't want to hit necessarily, and so... Um, I don't think anyone's going to complain if it doesn't necessarily always register the hits if, if it's a really light hit on it. I think before it was fairly sensitive. You could get a fairly light hit on the goalie and it would know that. Uh, now it'll be a little, you got to really smack him around before it'll register a hit, which I, I don't think it's going to matter too much. We're not going to worry about it. So that's it. It should be all set to go. And I didn't drop that little metal plate in there. I came close, but I didn't drop it down in there, so... Well, that'll be good. Uh, that was uh, good. I didn't uh, think I would be able to do that without dropping it. So yeah, that's it. If you got any questions or comments about World Cup, if you got one and you're looking for some guidance on it, let me know because this is my favorite machine. I know this one pretty well. Uh, I have enjoyed it since I worked in an arcade in college and got to work on it there and play it there. And that's why I had to have one when I got old enough to 
have my own stuff. So if you got any questions, let me know. Bye.